And here is the Writer's Almanac for Friday. It's the 28th of January, 2022. It's the birthday of Sue Hubble, born in Kalamazoo, Michigan, 1935. She said, no one expected much from little girls growing up in the 30s in Kalamazoo. Mine was a family of high aspirers, but they gave up on me. I was left pretty much alone. I look at today's youngsters with their enrichment programs, after-school lessons and activities, busily building resumes so they can get into Harvard, and realize I was given a wonderful gift, a happy childhood of my own making. I climbed trees and sat in the tops of them for long, long periods of time. She became a journalist, a bookstore manager, librarian at Brown University where her husband taught, but they weren't satisfied with their lives. They quit their jobs. They bought 99 acres in the Ozarks in Missouri and took up beekeeping. And after 30 years of marriage, the two of them got divorced, and she, Sue Hubble, found herself alone, middle-aged, living on a big farm producing honey, and she started to write down her own story. She said, I was writing for myself, and what I put on paper over the next couple of years was unlike anything I had written before. I traced the natural history of my hilltop from one springtime to the next, discovering by the second spring that I was in a new place and understanding the value of where I was. That book was A Country Year Living the questions. Her other books include A Book of Bees, Waiting for Aphrodite, and From Here to There and Back Again. It's the birthday of Rick Warren, born Redwood Valley, California, 1954, author of The Purpose Driven Life, What on Earth Am I Here For?, which sold more than 30 million copies when it came out in 2002. He got out of Baptist Seminary and decided to start his own church from scratch in Saddleback County, California. He went door to door asking people if they went to church and if not, what kind of church they would like, and decided they wanted a casual church. So he preached in a Hawaiian shirt, incorporated contemporary rock music, gave practical advice in his sermons, and over the next 15 years, his church grew from 200 people to more than 20,000. It's the birthday of the novelist Colette, born in a village in France, 1873, author of 50 novels, including Gigi, which was made into a movie. She died in 1954, 81 years old, the first woman in the history of France to be given a state funeral, 6,000 people filed by her casket and covered it in flowers. Colette, who said, sit down and put down everything that comes into your head, and then you are a writer, but an author is one who can judge his own stuff's worth without pity and destroy most of it. Here's a poem for today by Margaret Atwood, entitled, You Are Happy. The water turns a long way down over the raw stone, ice crusts around it. We walk separately along the hill to the open beach, unused picnic tables, wind shoving the brown waves, erosion, gravel rasping on gravel. In the ditch, a deer carcass, no head, bird running across the glaring road against the low pink sun. When you are this cold, you can think about nothing but the cold, the images hitting into your eyes like needles, crystals. You are happy. A poem entitled, You Are Happy, by Margaret Atwood, from her Selected Poems 1965 to 1975. That's the Writer's Almanac for Friday, January the 28th. Be well, do good work and be in touch.